Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to use Dreamweaver CS5 to set up and establish a new website. So starting from scratch here. I just want to kind of give you a little, uh, let's do a little bit uh, of cleanup first. I've already got some server space, and I'm going to use FileZilla here just to connect and kind of show you what it looks like. So FileZilla is a common free FTP application. I'm going to go ahead and log in. It, uh, I'm just going to do a quick login here. So I've got to put in my host address, my username, and my password. And then I'll connect. So in normal FTP clients, you get this split interface where on the left is my local computer and on the right is my server. Here's my server. I've got a few system files in there, a logs folder, but this is the important folder here, webdev59.cocc-webdev.org. Every internet, or I'm sorry, every web host is a little different. For my web host, this is the publishable folder. Sometimes the folder is called HTML, sometimes public, sometimes it's a domain name. They're, they vary, but there's always a particular folder where all your files have to go into to go out on the web. I'm going to go into this folder, and I can see that I already have a few things. I have a web page, and I have a couple subfolders. I'm just going to go ahead and select all of those and delete. So now, it takes a second here, my web server space is empty. Okay, so this is my public folder, my webdev59.cocc-webdev.org folder, and there is nothing in there, so it's an empty website. In fact, if I went to that site right now, we can see that there's absolutely nothing in there, okay? So that's devoid of stuff, okay? So I'm done with FileZilla. I just really use that to clean things up. And now I'm here in Dreamweaver. I've got a new untitled page open, and I want to start making some websites. And I've got hosting space, and I'm ready to publish, but I just need to start making stuff. Another piece of prep I need to do is I have to decide where I'm going to be saving my pages, okay? And you want to kind of be organized and ready to go. It's good to have one folder to contain an entire website. And that folder would contain your HTML files, it would have a folder for images and all that kind of stuff. So I've got a folder here. There we go. So here's a folder I've called web pages 11 winner. And there's nothing in it. This is the folder where I'm going to keep all of my HTML files. Now, within this folder, I'm going to go ahead and create new, create another folder. I'm going to have an images folder. Oops, I didn't even spell that close to correct. There we go. And I'm also going to have a styles folder. Now, it's not my intention to get into using styles or even images in a web page yet. I'll do that in another video, certainly. But these are folders that most web developers are going to have in their arsenal. You're going to have a place to keep your images. You're going to have to pay a place to keep your style sheets. And then all my HTML files will be right here within the main root folder, which I'm calling Web Pages 11 Winter. Um, you might call this folder whatever site you happen to be working on, you know, yoursite.com or something. So I've got that ready to go, so I've got a folder. Now this is really what you want to get into. This is setting up a new site in Dreamweaver. I'm using CS5 here. I've got the basic designer layout. I've only got a couple panels open on the right, my styles panel. The lower right I have my files panel. We're going to see this one in action pretty soon. And um, let's see, let's go ahead and try this. I'm going to click on site. I'm going to go to Manage Sites, and I don't have any sites set up. If you're a Dreamweaver user, you can be working on dozens of different website projects, and you can keep track of them individually by setting each one, each one up individually within your Manage Sites. I'm going to go ahead and create a new site, and you are going to have to have server information to do this part. Okay? Now, the site I'm going to set up here first, this is going to be for my uh, CIS 125 DW class summer 2011. I'm, I don't even know what season it is anymore. Winter 2011. There we go. So your site name is the nice clear name. What site are you working on? Yoursite.com or in this case it's a particular class. The local site folder. I have to tell Dreamweaver where I'm going to be keeping my web page files. So I'm going to go ahead and browse for that. It's in my classes folder. It's in my DW folder. It's in my web pages 11 winter folder. There it is. That's all I'm doing. I'm not clicking on anything here. I don't have to click on a file. I'm just showing that select is my web pages 11 winter folder. And I'll hit select. Okay. That part's taken care of. Now I'm looking over here at the menu. By the way, if I clicked save, it would exit me out. It's not a big deal. So if I click save, it'll take me right out. And I'm going to have to go back in here and choose edit. Okay. Really what I want to do is I want to go over to servers now. 
Okay, I don't have any server information set up, so I'm going to click the little plus to add some new server info. Now this part is where you really have to have all of your information convenient, okay? Server name, um, technically this doesn't have to be too specific. You could call it anything you want. I'm going to try, I'm just going to use my host name even though it's not 100% necessary, but I'll go ahead and put in webdev. 59.ccg-webdev.org. There we go. So that's that's what I'm going to use for my server name. I could have used spaces. I could have been a little bit more creative there. The connection type, for the most part, you're probably going to use FTP. I'm going to be using SFTP or Secure FTP. Okay, so I'll be using Secure FTP. The FTP or SFTP address is also called a host address. Okay, so your host address is your FTP address. Now I used my server name as the same as my host address, so I can just type that in again. The username, you'll have a username for your FTP account, for your host account. And then I have to put a password in. Oh, I think I mistyped it. Let's try this again. There we go. And it gives me a little option to test. Yeah, sure enough. Let's test it out. Let's test the connection. It's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking. Waiting for some, okay, connected to your web server successfully, that's a good sign. Okay, now this part's kind of important here too. The root directory. If I leave this one blank, it'll publish my files to the server, but it's likely going to publish them into the wrong spot, okay? I've already closed my, oh, actually no, FileZilla is still open. Um, so ultimately, if I were to publish into my root folder right now, that would be the wrong place. I actually need to publish into this folder. Remember, it's going to be different for every host. Sometimes it's public, sometimes it's HTML, public HTML, sometimes it's a site name. It's different for everybody. But you've got to publish into the proper folder. So this is the folder I need to publish into. Happens to be the same as my host. So I can go back over to Dreamweaver and I can just type this in again. There we go. So I think I've got it all. There's a lot of, a lot of repetition here, though. I've, got, I've put a server name in, SFTP. I've got my host address in there. I've got my username, typed my password. I've tested a successful connection. The root directory where I'm going to be keeping files on my server. Things are looking really good there. I'm actually done with this part. I can just hit Save and Save. And, yep, I can click OK. And then I can actually click Done. And notice over here, it's in the lower right corner of Dreamweaver, and this is my files panel. It's displaying the contents of my, um, of my server. Now check this out. It is showing my remote server. This is one of my beefs about Dreamweaver. You know, in FileZilla, you get this really nice split view. Okay, in fact, let me refresh this. So I get a really nice split view. I can see where things are and that kind of thing. But over here, I'm just looking at... Um, I'm just looking at my current file system. Now I see that I'm not connected. See that? See the little plug is separated there? If I were to hit connect, it'll think for a bit. Okay, there we go. So now I'm connected. And I've got this little drop down. I can go to local view. Local view is nothing in it. Let me go to remote server. Here we go. So my remote server is empty. Okay, so there's my folder. There are no files in my remote server. So now it's actually giving me some updated information. And I saw this on FileZilla. There are no files here in my remote server. Okay, locally, I have an images folder and a styles folder. So I've got a web page going on here. My web page, there it is. I'll go ahead and select that. HTML, I'll make it a heading one. There's my, there's my web page. I'm going to click File save as and I'm gonna save this into my web pages 11 winter folder I'm saving this locally and I'll go ahead and call it web page one HTML notice I'm using all lowercase and no spaces in that file name go ahead and save it everything's looking good there so I've got it saved I can see my file remember this is my local view I'm gonna publish it I'm gonna click on this file once and I'm gonna click the publish arrow the up arrow I don't need to put dependent files, more on that in another video, but I don't need them right now. There are no dependent files, so I'll choose no. It's uploading. Takes a second. All right, there's my local view. Nothing changed. Check this out. Now when I go to remote server, I can see my web page onehtml When I go to FileZilla and refresh, 
it's thinking. There's my web page onehtml Now when I go to my browser, and remember this is the site I'm at, if I refresh, there's my web page onehtml If I click on it, there's my web page. Okay, so that's setting up a new site and publishing with Dreamweaver CS5.